people are taken aback by my optimism. They say, just look around. You keep writing about things getting better, but over the years, hasn't the world been getting worse? So isn't your vision of the future getting more and more? This is the exact term phrase. Wacky doodle. Well, if you want stories about a grim future, there's plenty out there. But to me, that's not the point of writing science fiction. I want to tell stories about the best potential, you know? The way we could become if we tried our best. And I think I see the beginnings of that future happening right now, even today. We're in our infancy as a species, but we're just on the verge of taking our first steps outside this tiny playpen of life and going beyond. There are movements across the globe that show us some of us, many of us, are ready to take this human adventure further. Some folks are afraid of change, but most are willing to embrace it, and that's where it starts. That's the spark that leads to the optimism I write about. Look around, and if you want to find it, you'll see it. People are becoming free to love who they love, to be who they are, and to have others acknowledge it.
wacky dude. The adventure is just beginning. Visions of tomorrow. That's where it starts. Wacky dude. The adventure is just beginning. Cynics never give you a free pass, you know. They'll always try to find something to knock you down a few notches. So they ask, who are you to paint pictures of a better humanity? And they'll drag out some kind of dirt on me from something in the past. Some stupid thing I'm supposed to have said or done. True or not, and sometimes I don't even remember, the suggestion of it is enough to do the damage. Hey everybody, he writes about Utopia, he got drunk, or he swore, or he said things to somebody that anybody would regret saying. But listen, it's not about me. It's about the story. And the story survives. I still believe that in two, three hundred years, a lot of the problems that we're facing today just won't be issues anymore. Scarcity, avarice, discrimination, they'll all be solved, and not by some outside influence, but by our own ingenuity and our need to overcome any obstacles in our path. I don't just say it so I can sell autographs at conventions. I believe it, because if I didn't, I don't know how I'd hang on to hope. And we've got to have hope. Alright, Doctor. So what, if anything, do you recommend we do? Do? That's the thing. These changes, they're like a wave. If we try to stop them, we'll get nowhere. It's too powerful. But there's the beauty. We don't stop it, we ride it. We get on board, embrace the wave, and wait and see where it takes us. <laughs>